So there are a couple of screens you'll get to on the dashboard. One is the business overview, which looks like this. And the other one is getting things done, which will help you look at your task and your shortcuts. So I'm going to jump in here with a demo using my QuickBooks demo account here. As you can see um, on the left hand side, you have dashboard. Let me begin with get things done. And here we have the scenario here. So we found one email error. So you click that. That's just going to give you an opportunity to see what happened here. We have this undeliverable email. This is just a fake email I have in my account here. So that explains that. And I'm back to banking. I'm sorry, dashboard, get things done. And you can see that this is just mainly for shortcuts to, to manage here. Now on the business overview, here's our dashboards. This is where we're going to be able to see a variety of different widgets. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of customizations that you can do as far as adding widgets, moving them around. You kind of have to work within the confines here, but you can change uh, the date range. So for example, for Profit and Ross, we can select a different option here. Um, so you can see a variety here. Now, do be mindful that the number that you're seeing here is going to come in from whether your cash basis or accrual basis. If you're not sure, you go to the gear icon, account settings, and select advanced. And this will tell you whether your cash or accrual basis here. That will impact your financial reports in the dashboard as well. Um, there is a button at the bottom right that says see all activity. If you click that, that's going to take you to the audit log. This is just really just everything that's happening um, in this account here. Let me go back to dashboard, business overview. If you're at a coffee shop, you can turn off the privacy here. And lastly, um, depending on your user permissions, Certain things may be not visible, depending on the user permissions that you've set up with your different users. But a full admin of QuickBooks Online is going to have the starting points to be able to see these widgets here, bank account bounces on the right, and the ability to uh, check out little commercials and so forth that you can see the internet lace in here. For example, Capital, Amazon Business, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, that's a quick overview of the dashboard and how to change up the report time frame period. Thanks for watching.